Good morning. So, uh, back to... <clears throat> excuse me. Snippy Pixie next development. So we're in the middle of um, working with date placeholders that are going to be expanded. And we're working on the case where you have a, a calculation in the date. So add in a year, a month, day, stuff like that. <clears throat> and we think we've got these bits working for year, month, week, day. And now we're stuck on well, run out of time on our minute second. So dates have in Go, they have um, they said date, but then the add takes a duration. Now I've got to work out how to use that. <clears throat> so why is that complaining then? we have. See, this is the weird thing. There's no definition for units of day or larger to avoid confusion across daylight saving and time. Okay. Okay. Time dot duration. That's weird. Okay. So in theory, we did time dot duration. All right. Okay, we'll try that. And then minutes, seconds. Because a minute is, yeah, that's fine. And then here. Hmm. 
Right, okay. So it's a constant with milliseconds. Okay. Um, and then the default is going to be just bail out if it doesn't work. I haven't got any other... Have we got any other bailouts yet? Mm, not yet. But we did. Oh, yeah, we've commented out at the moment. Oh, yeah, we've done it there. Looking for the scan there, so. I'll take that comment. I'm going to put that there as a reminder as to why it's doing its thing. Because that's a little bit complicated there. All this running through positions and stuff. And I know that if I come back to it, I'm going to struggle. I'm here. Again, I'm just going to take out this actual warning. I'll stick a comment to myself. Year, month, day, oh, year, month, week, day, hour, minute, or second. Okay, that's fine. Okay, so in theory, we should have got to the point there where oh, yeah, we'll get rid of the count. Not using it anymore. Done that. So, I found at date at we are Taking out the at date at, uh, at. And then we are splitting that based on the colon, which we should have. Potentially. And we should be returning two parts. Part zero should have everything before the format. And part one should have the actual calculation. Uh, sorry, yeah, should have the format. So everything up to and excluding the second part, the calculation, and everything from the first part. Now, there's a possible problem there. What if we don't have a colon? Is that going to go bang? I'm just going to give that a quick go because that was, I think that was something I wanted to come back to. I think I need to make that bookmark because that's quite useful, I think. Right, so. Just 
stick that in there and if um rest is equal to right so if it's a normal normal thing the rest should be something like um plus plus one y and then colon sin x or something And I should be able to do format headline parts. Okay, so that worked there. So we've got two parts. We've got the date calculation and the format. Now if I make that instead going to get just the one part. So now I've got to be careful because I need to do things like this. So why don't we just do this, eh? I've actually got code for it to test. Rest becomes parts, becomes calc, becomes date format. What do we get? So from the looks of things, it worked fine. Because it looks like that is and a space there. I'll just do this and then I'll go back and I'll make sure that, yeah. So I think I'm okay. I think it's doing what I thought it might. I just output in nothing so I can do that. Oops. And now we should just have bang bang. Yeah, cool. All right, so that hopefully works. Um, maybe at some point we'll put that in a function for testing, but it's okay at the moment. We'll see how it goes when I do the second bit. Okay, so we're taking out any spaces around the date format. Get the macro regular date. Yeah, yeah, okay. So if it's empty, do the thing right. Passed in the date, set a new one. Okay, I think we're good there. Now we've got to start, we've got to basically do this again after a cleanup in a second. Oop. That did not do what I expected. Hit the wrong keys there. Right, so 
we in theory Yeah, so we're adjusting the new date there, and at the end, we need to adjust the calculation and get a new position into it. Okay. Yeah. All right. So we've done everything we can with that calculation part there. So now, oh, that's not what I meant to do. And then here we need to take calculation. and Basically do this. But with a different number. So what I take in is position plus one. So if mm, yeah. Yeah, so if we do, if the position plus one
Mm -hmm. You've got to be careful here. Because it's actually... No, oh, yeah. No, I'm good. Just need to see what that noise was. One second. I don't know what that was. Couldn't see anything. All right. If yeah, so if the position plus one is greater than the length of which part do we need? We are well, yeah, just calc parts. So if you've basically hit the end, then I guess we need to break. Is that a thing? Yeah, good. Um, otherwise, we can grab whatever's that position plus one as the calculate the rest of the calculation, and then we can look into it to see if there is another one of these strings which sets position. If there isn't one of those strings, then position becomes minus one. And that means it'll drop out of the for loop. And did we have that protection here? Oh yeah, I guess we've got that. And if something on like did Y as the beginning, then you'd get empty back. This would fail and we would turn, yeah, because it'd be badly formatted. Yeah, I think we're good there. We'll see. We will see. We'll do some tests and we'll find out. Um so that means we've now in theory got something. We've tested that at least had some sort of number and then one of the units. And that meant that we got to the point of at least grabbing the unit, hopefully, and finding it one of those and hopefully had a number that we did something with. So we should have done something with the date. Now, is result going to be okay? I think result is a good one to do. So the one thing I've got to do there is the string format stuff. That's the actual bit where we do it. I'm going to do that then again in the else as well. So in the placeholders test, I have this and that. Okay. 
So string f time. Um, it's that one. Still that down there. Result equals string f time. In theory, Just using date format there. And then the new date. Okay. Uh, it's not equal to nil. Return the substring. Otherwise, return the result. Okay. All right, so the next part is in this case we have not got a date or time calculation micro we've only got at date potentially with a colon or not um, so there's possibly a way of cleaning this up a little bit because I'm going to have to do the same thing again. Um. Actually, quite really don't need to do that much here actually. So,
yeah we'll take actually we'll take a bit more there Did the wrong thing there. Yeah, no, I do. I do want that. And then I'll just take off the end bit. Maybe you're not awake this morning. <laughs> So now I've got to do the substring thing. We've got this as the result stuff, which replaces that. So we're just redoing that. But all we need now is the date format. And We know we've got something. It's kind of most of this. So I definitely want to refactor that later, I think. for the moment. So what we have we found placeholder plus macro. We are taking everything after it as the rest. We are splitting that into two parts based on a colon as the index, as the delimiter, sorry. And we are hoping that part one doesn't crash a big time with that and then everything else is going to be the format so back to our little test oh. if So if we've got a rest, which is that uh, percent y dash percent, oops, dash percent. It's not like that, is it? But anyway, it doesn't matter. That's not right. You get the idea. Um, it 
take out a calculation because we're not doing that at the moment. So we're hoping to split on that colon, get the colon. If there is one, split into two. Date format should be the second part. I could do this a little bit simpler. I bet I could just do trim prefix. But anyway, let's run that, see what we get. So that's correct. If I try it, actually, before I do that, what about? Just do a quick test the if make sure that works. So it should still be normal. Then if rest is actually equal to, I forget to put the date in the format. We get the default. And if there is no colon at all, again, we get the default. That's good does everything I want it to do. So I think we'll stick with that instead of trying to do something else. Okay. Um, and then at some point I'll just have to maybe refactor this. But, okay, well in theory we've got to the point where we get back something usable. Maybe we'll see. Um, we will have to yeah. 
Yeah, no, it's fine. That is good. Yeah, we might, yeah, as I said, up here somewhere. Here. Uh, we're going to have to do some sort of translation stuff um, at some point so that you could put um, a different word for date and time depending on your language. Um, that's why we've got the macros there. Um, and we're looping over them. But we're not doing any translation stuff at the moment, so it's kind of just a little bit of... It's not quite image optimization because we do our, we are supporting date and time here, so but that's good. Okay, so back to the test to see if this actually does anything. Um, we have a simple date placeholder, and we are going to expect, in my case, this is something we've got to fix, but in my case, um, percent, yeah, day, month, year, that's what we're going to expect, and then Expand body, expand body. No curse at the date. And we're level zero on the recurse. And that should work. But right before we get there. So. If the body contains any kind of placeholder delimiter and the body contains placeholder and macro. I don't know why am I doing the double anyway. Have to think about that. So we start off with nothing, and then we split the body based on the placeholder delimiter, and then we try and expand the date on that substring. Then we try and see if we've got a cursor. at the point that we're currently processing. If we do, we set the cursor offset to that. Otherwise, we are appending whatever came out of that to the result. And return in the result current cursor offset, whatever that might be, and then the body, and then the cursor, nothing, okay. All right, let's see. Boom. Assignment to entry in nil map. Placeholders fifty four. Ah, 
because I've not made it. It does not exist. Can I do um Yeah, I better look that up actually. I guess in theory I can just make an empty one. Can I just assign it a couple of curly braces? Let's have a look. Um, is that a quick link to the tour? Because that's got a bit about maps. Map littles. Okay, so I should better just create it. Oh, I could just make it. Seems like an idea. Let's just make it and then we're done. So make map. Okay, so we're just making an empty map, in theory. That's good. We're getting there. Uh, that's perfect. So we're expecting 10 to 22, but we're getting 02 to N22 because we found out in the previous video that the string of time library that uh, someone's made doesn't do localization. It doesn't understand that in the UK where I am, we put the day, uh, put the day before the month. So, um, and it sets percent X. to it's hard coded basically to month day yeah okay so that's good um we're actually at the point where i could kind of just say okay well we know that's going to fail um To do fix string f time for well, it's actually it's not even fix is it lies string f time okay Turn it off for the moment, and then I'm going to repeat this. I'm 
I'm going to make it oops, very specific now. So we'll make it um, percent Y percent. I think it's actually M, isn't it? Percent D. Your, of course it is, I'm just used out there. Yeah, okay. So this should work now. And we should get date, month, day. Past. Um, no, what I'm going to do actually is so we we'll keep that body, and then what we'll do. Date plus add year, month, day. So we'll do one, one, one. And here we'll do at plus one y plus one m plus one d. Is that what I've done? I can't even remember anything now. Yeah, now I'm at second. Why? Why slow? Oh, that doesn't sound good. That must be I've got an infinite loop. Oh, oh dear. Can't stop like that. So I've not got a exit somewhere. Okay. Um, let's where we're going to put a break point, probably here. I've got to go now as well. Um, okay. Yeah, we're in the calc. This is the only one with the calculation. So this is good. So what we've got We've currently got new date has already added a year. 
to process the year. Calculation string has been lopped off. That's good. We did do unit there. Num was one. Position was two. That's correct. It's got the right date format. So really, that's looking OK. So if I step over that, now what's position at the moment again? Position is two. Let's make that a little bit bigger for a sec so I can see them all. Right, loop over. Comes in. Num is one again. The unit. Oh, well, that's wrong. Oh, I haven't adjusted calculation parts. I need to redo that. Okay. Boom. Right. Okay. So bug. Is there. Now we only use the calculation parts inside the loop. So I think we're good. It's a bit tidy to do it like that. I think I prefer to do that. Okay, so we take the num. Let's try that. I'm just going to run it this time to see if it finishes. It did. Good stuff. Let's make sure. Excellent. Good stuff. OK, so we've got uh, a passing test that does some calculations there. Um, I've got to go. Um, I'm a bit late now. I'm going to stand up. But anyway, um, brilliant. OK, so we've got the basics going there. I'll just need to put in a couple more tests for like negatives and things like that. So. To do. Oh, tests such as negative values, time, etc. Okay. Right, gotta go. Um, so until next time, thanks for watching. Um, take care. Bye.